So in this program, we have to print the multiplication table by taking the input from the user. So let's start writing the program straight away. So first we'll ask the user to put the input, right? Input for taking the multiplication table. Uh, and, and then C in of some number T, the variable. Oh, okay. I have to put the data type of T as well, which is T here for this case. Let's take integer as this as the data type of T. And so what will happen is the this statement will be printed first of all. The in, uh, the user will see that he has to he or she has to input the uh, the number for taking the multiplication table, and straight away the input will be asked after this statement, which will be printed and then the user will input the number that he or she will desire then we are introducing the for loop i equals to int of i equals to one you have to take the data type as well then we are going to put the constraint of i which will be less than equal to 10 that means i from 1 to 10 for multiplication table it's like 1 2 3 4 till 10 Therefore, you have to iterate it by one. This means that uh, after every iteration, the i will be incremented by one. Then we are going to open the parentheses to write some set of statements. So here, I'll introduce one more variable, int of answer, where answer will be equals to i star t star i. So it looks more better. I have to imagine what is written here. The answer for like answer for every iteration will be this answer equals t star i. Now assume that you have put t equals to 3 here and integer this i will be equals to 1 for first iteration. So answer will be equals to 3 times 1. Next iteration will be incremented by 1 as it's written here. So i will be equals to 2 then int of answer it will be okay answer equals t will be 3 star 2 answer will be 3 star 2 which is 6 like it will go on then like it will increment by 1 3 star 3 increment by one, then 3 star 4 and it'll go on till 10 3 star 10 now the purpose is to print this thing so it will be like firstly i'll write the number then a star sign or multiplication sign whatever okay then i then equal to sign and then answer i think that's enough and then i'm gonna write here return equal to z return zero to mark the completion of our program let's try running it after saving That's right. So it's asking to take the input. So let's take three. Hmm. So it's printing it in single line, which we don't desire to. Let's take it. Um, yeah, hey, hey, there should be a statement for end line. We'll get to know what end line does. Let's save it and then run it. Let's try it three there you go there it prints the multiplication table for three so end line what end line is doing here is for after every iteration here the print of answer will take place and just after that there will be a line end so that the next printing the answer which will be printed will be in the new line and subsequently